Race two is the Z Turf Handicap Handicap Chase. This is a two and a half mile nought to one forty. And the top one is Pride of Paris for Paul Rhodes. Musical Bell for Jim Murray, Black Ascoli for Martin Leadham, Jardine's Lookout for Graham Clitterbook. First prize, Ryan Tamasevi. Thunderbirds are go, Paul Rhodes, Fond Tarf, David Hooley, Glowing Shrew, James Shea, and Annie Walker for Thomas Rogers. And you can see nothing in the fields won so far this season, although I'm pretty sure Annie Walker was a winner last year. And away they go. And Pride of Paris and Black Ascoli are the first two to show with Jardine's lookout on the near side. Black Ascoli pulling for its head as they make their way to the first of the 16 fences in this second race of the day. Second race of the week as well, of course. And they're all safely over the first of the fences. And Jardine's lookout is the clear leader by about three quarters of a length. To Black Ascoli on the inside as they take this next one. Good close up shot of them all there. First prize a little bit slow over it is the early back marker. They're making their way towards the third fence then and Jardine's lookout is in the lead by about a length and a half to Pride of Paris and Thunderbirds are go the two from the Paul Road stable and Jim Murray's musical bell with the red sleeves on the outside of that one and on the inside is the purple jacketed Black Ascoli two in purple jackets from two different trainers Black Ascoli the black horse and surprisingly is Mine and the grey fond tarf is David Hooley, and they get over that one. And it's still Jardine's lookout that's in the lead, then. Then about four in a line after that, as they get over the fourth. Good jump there by Black Ascoli, you've seen that one take a share off the lead. So it's Jardine's lookout and Black Ascoli disputing the lead, then a gap of a couple of lengths, then back to Musical Bell and Fond Tarf, who are disputing third, just tucked in between them, Thunderbirds are go. Then another two running together are Glowing Shrew and Pride of Paris. Annie Walker, the one closest to us, and the one that's now out of shot, is first prize. So, making their way past the big screen there and over this fence that'll be the last on the next circuit and there's a fall there musical bell's gone so Jim Murray's musical bell didn't get high enough at that one and crashes out of the race as they begin their left handed sweep out into the country then and it's Jardine's lookout he is going to take them on that little journey with a lead of about three and a half to four lengths so on Black Ascoli who's dropped back into second then Fond Tarth the Grey just got his head into third ahead of Glowing Shrew then comes Pride of Paris and Thunderbirds are go with first prize getting a bit closer now oh, the leader went right through the top of that one made a real bad mistake and Pride of Paris made a worse one and, and has fallen one ship the pilot so that's two gone now then and the, the jumping catching them out here at Cheltenham this is Probably the first time most of these have run here and they're all over the water jump and Jardine's lookout is in the lead by a couple to Black Ascoli in second and Fontaf in third. Glowing Shrew is in fourth and then comes Annie Walker and Thunderbirds Argo and finally first prize as they get over that big ditch. Really good jump by Fontaf the grey. I've seen that one creep into second but it's Jardine's lookout who gets over that next one. This time Fontaf was a bit slow and it's Glowing Shrew who's now moved up into second. So second place is changing hands with increasing regularity but the lead is remaining with Jardine's lookout and Jardine's lookout continues to show the way home then leading by a couple to glowing through second as they get over this ditch and we see them more safely over that one apart from Thunderbirds are go and it's very much a case of Thunderbirds are stop and Paul Rhodes is going to be having a serious look at his jumpers I think before the transfer window because they're not performing like they were in the days of Mac the Knife and Co and it's Jardine's lookout who's in the lead from Black Ascoli in second and Glowing Shrew third and then Fontar fourth. First prize is next and then Annie Walker as they get over to 13th and this time Black Ascoli was the one that didn't jump it all that well and Jardine's lookout is going to attempt to steal this from the front I think. It's Jardine's lookout still in the lead then. Three more fences to take and Jardine's lookout is in the lead by a good two or three lengths then coming to this tricky third last. Over it they go. Good jump again by Fontar. Glowing Shrew is back in third. Black Ascoli looks a bit one paced in fourth and I don't know where first prize and Annie Walker have gone they haven't got into it at all looks like first prize is trying to make a run around the outside now and just coming in the shot it's Jardine's lookout in the lead three furlongs to go two jumps to take and it's Jardine's lookout been in the lead all the way now being worn down by Fontaf the grey in second Glowing Shrew is trying to run on first prize is making significant progress around the outside it'll come down and they're jumping I think and Fontaf jumps into the lead it's Fontaf who jumps into the lead then one more to jump Jardine's lookout trying to battle back over the final fence they go better jump by Jardine's lookout coming back 
on the inside with a great front task at the centre of the track is still in the lead. Half a length of the same race up now towards the final half furlong. It's Fontaf in the lead. Fontaf is beginning to pull away. And Fontaf is going to take it towards the line. Fontaf is going to be the winner. It's going to be close for a second, but it's just Jardine's look out. Then first prize and growing true and black Ascoli. And finally, Annie Walker. And three of them didn't get round. And it was a good win by Fontaf. I think it was a fall over the last week or the week before but it's made up for it today with a pretty impressive performance and um, takes it for David Hooley so Fontaf the winner then for David Hooley Jardine's look out for Graham Clutterbuck was second first prize for Ryan Tamasevi was third glowing shrew for James Shea was fourth and Black Ascoli was fifth